Hello and welcome to another Zillions of Enemy X unboxing and today with the oldest box I could find it's E15 and yeah by now I don't know when I will upload this but we should be like around E49 kinda so yeah this is a very old box and it was a lot more expensive but I, I really wanted to open one and look at the cards. They have made a lot of changes to ZX cardstock and boxes and pull ratio. I actually don't know the ex exact date. If there is like a, a year of release, there should be somewhere a date, but I don't have it. Hmm. But yeah, let's let's take a look at the cards. There are only five five packs in a box like this, and they come with a uh, with a paper sheet in front and at at the back for like information and maybe also for protection. I don't know. Get a cheerleader girl. Yeah, this old one I uh, I've opened e thirty and some other kind of older sets. They have this shatter foiling and the surface feels super plastic. I really don't like this, uh, the card feeling, this plastic feeling. Oh, but the artworks are quite nice, I guess. Okay, we got a, what is it? <laughs> this is just a rare. Well, I guess it looks like a WR. <laughs> and these double, Overload. What was it? Overload? So this is the top and we also need like the legs, but of course the top piece is better. And this is, yeah, ugly, the character in a cheerleader outfit. I hope this wasn't already like the, the biggest hit of the box in the first bag. Would feel bad. But yeah, also the framing and yeah, today's ZX cards look a lot different, and I think they did change for the better. Got another cheerleader outfit. Uh, yeah, Ugly and some other characters that I don't remember the names of. Another rare. Okay. And this is... It's also a rare, but it has texture and stuff. And I tilt the card. So this is like a rare parallel. And it has basically the, it has no gold outline. But it reminds me of the Mugen rarity, the MGNR rarity. Now you should see the pattern on the dress and in the background. I think this was the big hit in the, in the box. Sweet. Don't know the character and I don't really understand what I'm looking at because there are like these tentacle. But maybe the, the box, it gave me some like Cthulhu vibes or looking at the card gallery. I think there is some creepy horror stuff in it. Oh, and I already, this is the last card of the pack. Some Transformers guy. Don't like the art style, this CGI gallery. I don't think they still use art like this. Reminds me of the Nova TCG that I didn't like either, but yeah. Not a fan of this. This is another nice anime art style. Yeah, more of these, yeah, creepy tentacle eye Cthulhu stuff. Lovecraft girls. Okay, we get a rare cheerleader again. The rare look very pretty. And the super rare, the super rare have these gold stamped lettering and frame and the numbers. But the surface and the foiling is the same, like shatter sheep. Yeah, there there are two types of super rares. There's also a super rare holo style, and they have basically mixed. Like they have this kind of foiling and surface treatment with super rares. So these are like the more common and cheaper looking super rares. I do like the super rare holographic a lot. Okay, what's this? It looks creepy too. I like fox girl. Fox girl is she leader. 
a group picture in foil. Yeah, the same picture we pulled before. Okay, yeah, this is yeah, this is what I talked about. This is a super rare, but as I said, it has the foiling and surface treatment as of the, the rares. What a nice card. No texture. Gold stamp foiling and frame. That's a sweet one. Man, so many so many hits and only five packs. I didn't expect it. Next to the to the textured rare card, I thought there isn't much left in the box. They really look like pack with a lot of stuff. Another rare Shilida, sweet. And okay, another yeah, this okay, now we can compare them. So on in my left hand there is the Sheepa version. The the shatter foiling and the surface is so eh. But yeah. Now we can compare them back to back. The the right one is the more expensive one and more rare one. Sadly it's a it's a duplicate, but still. What a what a nice box. Let me know what do you think about all these different foilings and texture and uh yeah. It was quite an experience, but one I don't uh will repeat <laughs> since the, these boxes are getting expensive. But yeah, thank you for watching and let's end oh, with the Force of Will pack, which I completely not forgot, of course. But I don't have a lot of hope left that I will be able to pull a Anubis one. But it's hmm. I don't remember this artwork. It's like a samurai. That's cool. But now, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.